Welcome back you guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to double your coins every single day So if you're new around here, make sure to drop a like down below, subscribe of course And if you do want coins in a bit of a quicker way, well So if you guys are sick of losing at FIFA because your team isn't good enough Or you're not good enough at the game Then right now you need to head over to skycoach.gg Not only can they coach you in your weekend league or play your games for you You can buy any amount of coins you want And all of the services get 10% off right now with the code PROREECALL Go check them out below, make sure to click the link in the description And let's get into it so today I'm doing something we don't usually do. I'm actually talking over some sniping that we've already done, basically because my audio corrupted. So we're looking at all the same filters, but you won't have the live audio. So you guys let me know if you prefer this. Maybe I can do this more often. And if not, I'll just go back to my live commentary of me messing up all the snipes. So first of all, as you can see, we've got forward, gold, rare, prem, and Chelsea. Really easy one. You've got Pulisic, you've got Jao Felix, and you've got Ziyech. So no one really else on the filter. Two 83s and an 84. So very simple. Obviously, Felix is a little bit harder to snipe at the minute, being that he is more expensive more usable in SBCs, but you can get some really good snags on Pulisic. Now, I think for here, we found that he was going for about 1.7k, so you can snipe down from 1.5 to 1.4 if you wish. Now, obviously, it just depends what you want for your profit. So if you only want, you know, a certain amount at 1.7, obviously, the EA tax there is going to be, I think, 85 coins off the top of my head. Obviously, you can, in theory, get 115 coins per snipe if you go over at 1.5, but it'll be 215 if you go at 1.4. So it's just down to yourself. What do you deem as an appropriate profit? So as you can see, we're getting a few snipes there. You're finding quite a few at each value. So I would suggest to go in at 1.5 and just trying to sneak in a few extra snipes and maybe even try to sell to lazy buyers. Lazy buyers are the easiest people to sell to because every now and then there's going to be someone scroll on the transfer market thinking I need a Pulisic for an SBC. They probably don't have much time or can't be bothered to really find the actual price or spend time sniping because that's only for people who really want to make profit out of it. So when you get those people, just try finesse them. It sounds silly, but it's finesse or be finessed. It's the FIFA community. No one in the FIFA community likes each other anyway. So you might as well make some coins off of your comrades. Now, of course, we're moving over to the next one. We've got Gold Rare, Defender, Syria, and Juve. We did take a turn for a Syria theme for the rest of the video. So hopefully we'll do some more themed videos in future but starting off you've got Bonucci, Quadrado and Bremer now obviously you're not going to be picking up Bonucci on every snipe it is mostly going to be Bremer central because obviously Quadrado for some reason is one of the more high priced uh, 83 rated players I'm not too sure why I think it might just be that he's only one of the few really good right backs in the Serie A who can be usable in like lower tier teams because I suppose you've got Di Lorenzo you've got there's a Centurions card as well um, 85 rated so there's not bad right backs in this area but there's definitely no good lower ends like in the prem you have Samedo for like a thousand coins you've got the likes of Pereira as well 83 really good like and there's a ton of them and they're absolutely bottom tier price every single time so you're never really going to struggle to find yourself a cheap right back in the prem whereas in the Serie A you've got a little bit more difficulty now of course you're going to have to spam snipe all of these but what is good is right now I think it's pretty much impossible to get kicked off the market for sniping too fast I'm not sure what's made that occur but to my knowledge you literally just can't get some kicked out for sniping because I haven't been at all and I've been doing some ridiculously fast paced sniping like absolutely spamming the hell out of the sniping and nothing has came from it. So I think at the minute, we're pretty good to pretty much snipe how we want, as long as we want, as long as you're not taking the mic. Like, I have not found myself getting kicked out of the market at all recently. And you can see as well, I am storing that Hoibo because every 83 counts right now. We don't want to be losing a single card who we can use in an SBC. Now, moving on, of course, we have a few more high budget. And where would we be with high budget Syria without Inter Milan? So you've got, of course, first of all, centre back footer, pretty simple. You've got Skriniar, De Vrij, and you've got Bastoni. So all three of them, very easy easily picked up and can be converted over to a special filter where you'll find them as well. Now, of course, the other option is just minimum 10 to 50 into Milan. You'll have Skriniar, you'll have Martinez, you'll have Lukaku and Barella. So you've got a nice selection of players on that one as well. But these are just honorable mentions. Now, this is the one that I think was one of my favorite filters to do in this video. One of the ones we haven't really done much. Obviously, everyone's done the forward Serie A Argentina. I've done that to death and we've spoken about it a few times, but no one really touches on it as a special filter. And that is where we had a lot of luck today. So we went over to specials. You've got the multiple, multiple man of the matches. You've got ones to watch. You've got World Cup cards. You've got informs. You've literally got like seven or eight different special cards, but only three players. You've got Di Maria, Martinez, and Diabala. But because they are consistently inform and they're consistently doing bits for us, we have a ton of nice little special cards there. So I enjoyed using this one here. It didn't take me much to get a very nice snipe. And what I find with hero cards and man of the matches is there isn't much competition. So when you're sat there really creaming it out and you find one, you're not going to get disheartened 
like the fact that you miss that one because you will get it. Like I very rarely miss a hero or a man of the match night because they are so like low saturated i suppose there isn't many people attempting to get them there isn't many people wanting them for their teams they are mostly fodder but because of that you've got the big opportunities getting snipes on them and even though they're not in packs right now for the heroes anyway and um, you're not for the heroes for the man of the match cards anyway you're still able to make massive snipes what's good about a lot of the heroes is they're still in packs now obviously you do have to check what promo you're looking at because obviously through foot fantasy we've had some of the heroes taken out of rotation you had di natale cordoba Janola. So players like that were all taken out of rotation because they were in special cards before the current promos. And here, I think soon we are going to find ourselves our lovely Di Maria sniper. But as I say, you got to make sure that the cards you're sniping aren't in a promo. Because if Di Natale, for example, if we wanted to do Syria Italy, Syria Italy, Syria Italy, and Foot Heroes, you'd be looking at a little bit of a difficulty there last week because Mascherano would be the only one really coming up. No one's selling at Di Natale at a low price when he's actually out of packs. Whereas when he's in packs, you're going to get people packing him all the time, making a mistake listing him, and actually just losing coins where you can make a ton. So that's kind of, I mean, realistically, you got to think of it. Obviously, we got a nice little 21k snipe there, nice few k profit, which was lovely. But you got to think of it like this: if you are making coins on the foot market, someone is losing them. But you've just got to think that is how the game is um ea is going to take coins off us all you might as well take some coins yourself off one of yeah i don't want to say comrades again because i sound a little bit too uh 19 whatever russia but your 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 fellow fifa players now of course we do go back in and this is where i kind of decided this video was going to end up as a syria video so first of all we're looking at the foot fantasy so you've got a lot of options with syria for special cards now foot fantasy is a big one we had two of the main cards in it i think both of them have received upgrades so both of these guys here and um, you've got lorient and benacer i think they both received an upgrade so both of them can be sniped at around 45 to 50k i think benesa is far more expensive in the kind of realms of like 300 to 400k but he is coppable on this filler very unlikely but he is purchasable so we see we have a little play around with the foot fantasy cards here but that's not what we were really focusing on i did want to have a look at the heroes as well the foot fantasy heroes unfortunately are extortionate in the syria you've got cordoba who i would argue is probably better than timia van dyke i as cordoba's biggest fan his base card stayed in my team from I think two or three weeks into the game all the way through till about I think it was December when I got Vidic and I got Van Dyke, who arguably you can't put anyone else in front of but those two I would say honestly team of the year Vidic he's going to go in an SBC soon he's trash he is not as good as base Cordoba not many center backs are I would say Lucio base and Cordoba base are on the same level. No one will back that, but Cordoba is absolutely unbelievable. I know he's that little five foot Martinez wannabe, but he's unbelievable and he's definitely worth getting in a lot of your teams. A lot of people will turn their nose up at him because he's not that, you know, flashy centre back, but he is one of the best and he is definitely worth either considering for your team or getting for your team. And if you can't get the million coin one, then get the base one. And if you can get a million coin one, then absolutely put your club in him. I would, but it would basically stop me doing videos for a week because I'd have to gain the coin back after spending my entire club so i'm not going to do that yet but i think at some point i might have to splash out on him or di natale because they would make my team look very pretty and we don't currently have a foot fantasy hero nor can i afford a lot of the foot fantasy heroes available now moving on to one of the easiest filters you can possibly find is the syria so syria foot heroes you've got brolin who now is the cheapest which is very surprising you've got nakata who's an absolute ball because no one really is happy to pack nakata so everyone's going to make profit off of him everyone's going to sell him cheaply it's very easy uh, to get a nakata snipe but you've got brolin here at the bottom you've got melito and you've got nakata now there's a few other syria heroes i mean if we look at the list i think you've got five or six but the issue is a lot of them are above 100k so if you go over to foot bin and we find our foot heroes which i assume is somewhere on the selection of cards but if, yeah heroes apply filter and then we want to find the league you want to go syria apply filter so you've got lucio you've got milito you've got di natale and you've got marquisio and cordoba all of those are apart from Melito, who I've mislisted there, sorry. Lucio, uh, Di Natale, Marquisio, and Cordoba. All of those are above 100K. You've got Marquisio at 170. You've got Cordoba at 200. You've got Di Natale at 200. And then you've got Lucio at 500. So even for his base, he's still a fortune. But Nakata, Brolin, and Di, uh, Melito, you've got 32, 32, and 25. So obviously, Brolin is just priced at the price of an 87. Once market fodder goes down a little bit i think they'll all line up a bit more it's going to be easier to start the other two with this guy i would say you can still get nakata quite easily on this filter but 
being more expensive, a little bit higher rated, it is going to be a little bit harder. It's not going to be as easy. Obviously, unfortunately, this was one of the clips where actually we lost coins or missed a hero here because I think in a moment you're going to see one of the very beautiful Brodin snipes get absolutely missed by myself. And it was just unlucky. It's because I went to compare price instead of normal sniping. And here it is, 21k. I didn't act fast enough. Sometimes compare price isn't as fast as normal sniping. You will find the cards quicker. You might get beat to them. That's the only thing. Um, so I was a little bit disappointed about that. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Obviously, a little bit of a different style of uh, editing there today. I hope you do still enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure, of course, to subscribe.